Chapter 5 How to Use the MT4 Multi Terminal Window Part 1 In this tutorial, you will learn how to get started with the MT4 Multi Terminal Window. If you launch the MT4 Multi Terminal application for the first time, the login window will pop up. Please make sure that you are using your account number login details previously sent by email. Enter your password in the password box. Remember that all details you enter are case sensitive. Kindly note that in order to connect more than one account in the multi-terminal, all the accounts need to be under the same server. When the login window pops up, you can see that the server is set by default to xm.com real1. Depending on your account, you will need to change the server to the server you are currently on. To change the server, you will need to close the login window by pressing on the X button. Then we need to click on the Tools button and then click Options. Alternatively, you can click on the Options button which takes you to the same place. After this, a window will pop up, where you will be able to change your server name accordingly. From the drop-down list, click on Server and choose your server. Please note that your real server can be seen on your registration email. Click OK and go to New Account. Here you are prompted to enter your login details. Note that the server on the top side of the window has changed. After entering your login details correctly, you will be logged into the MT4 multi-terminal window. Please note that you can repeat the process for all the accounts you would like to add to the multi-terminal. When the platform is launched, you can see four basic window panels. On the top left side of the application, we have the Market Watch panel, displaying the live prices and the symbols of all trading instruments offered by XM. The bigger panel in the center of the screen is called Terminal Window, and it displays your active, pending and closed trades and all the historical prices. This is also the place where you can close, modify, delete or close your orders. This will be explained in further depth on the MT4 multi-terminal window tutorial part 2. At the bottom left you can see the toolbox. This is also the panel where you can view the news, mailbox configure alerts and monitor the platform through the journal tab. At the bottom right you can see the account section. This is also the panel where you can view your balance, equity and margin level. On the top side of the platform, you can see four buttons. By pressing the first button, you can maximize the terminal window. In addition, please note that if you have a different base currency than USD, the total will be shown in USD always. The next button is used to hide the account section panel. The third button is used to hide the toolbox section. And the fourth button, as mentioned previously, is used for changing your server type. Here you can also access the trade tab. In this selection you can access settings which can be modified for opening orders in the trade tab. The first option, symbol by default, allows you to choose the specific symbol which you wish to trade. The last used parameter shows the symbol of the latest trade and will be set automatically unless modified. For the same symbol to be set repeatedly, the default parameter must be enabled and the specific symbol must be chosen from the list. The next option, lots by default, in the similar way the initial amount of lots can be defined. Last used, is a parameter used in the previous operation and by default is a constant manually set value. Next we have the lots allocation. When placing new orders it is necessary to specify the total lots allocation for all accounts. The specified total lots will be distributed among accounts according to the specified lots allocation method. 
By clicking on Window, New Order, we can see the Lots Allocation section. By clicking here, a drop-down menu appears with several options. The first option is called Predefined Volume. By choosing this option, it will be necessary to manually specify the lots amount for each order when placing the order. Later, this predefined volume will apply at placing orders. The next option is called Total Volume for each order. Here, the total lots will apply at placing each order. After this comes the Equal Parts option. Here the total lots will be allocated among all orders in equal parts. Following next is the On Equity Ratio. This option means that the total lots will be allocated among orders based on the ratio between equities of accounts. And the last option is called On Free Margin Ratio. Here the total lots will be allocated among orders on the ratio between free margins of accounts. On the main menu, you can see the Window tab. By clicking here, a drop-down menu appears with several options, such as New Order. This section is used to place your order. Please note that the Lots Allocation option allows defining of the method to allocate lots amongst accounts at placing orders. In the next tutorial, we will demonstrate in further detail how to place, cancel, modify or delete an order using the MT4 multi-terminal window. End of part 1. Thank you for watching.